Peggy. We're going to do our little workout today. First thing we want to do is get those joints mobilized. I'll do some mobility. We're going to go up, back, out, in, up, back, out, in. All with our ankles. That was two. We're going to do five. Up, back, out, in, up, back, out, in, and up, back, out, in. Let's get our knees loosened up. We're going to go five to the right. Go ahead. Get going. Don't wait. If I'm doing it, you do it. Okay, now we're going to go five to the left. Just getting those knee joints nice and lubricated, loosened up so we don't hurt them. Okay, now we have a, a ball and socket joint in our hips. We're going to go five to the right. And then we're going to go five to the left. We're doing that ball and socket joint in our hips. And then now we're going to do our back. Now we're going to move our back five to the right. Get that lower back nice and loose. And now we're going to go to the left. And now we're doing the back, we're not doing the hips. And now we're going to work on our range of motion. We're going to take both of our hands. We're going to step right and then touch our right toe. If I'm doing it, you do it. Come on, let's go. Step down, touch your left toe. Good. We're going to do that again. Both hands to your right foot and both hands to your left foot. Good job. So now we're going to step to our right and touch our right toe. Go ahead. Let's do it. That's one. Let's do our left. Step to your left. Touch your left toe. <clears throat> do it again. Step to your right. Touch your right toe, and again, step to the left. Touch your left toe, we're loosening up those hamstrings. Now we're gonna to step to our right and reach with our left hand. We're gonna stretch out our, our obliques. Now we're gonna to step to our right and reach with our left hand. Now that you've done it once, let's do it again. Step to the right, reach with your left, and step to your left, reach with your right. Now we get a little twisting going. So now we're going to step with our right foot, twist to our right, step with our left foot, twist to our left. Now we're going to step with our right, twist to our right, and step with our left, and twist to our left. Cut. Okay, now that we're nice and loose, our back's loose, our knees are loose, we're going to do skaters. We're going to do 100 of them. So your feet are shoulder width apart, and I'll just walk through it. Here, foot back, and you're stepping behind. Once you get the rhythm, it can go all the way back. You can put a hop into it, and we're gonna do 100. So when you count, you go one, two, three, four. See, I'm sinking down in that knee. Five, six, seven. We're working our core. Do 100 of those, all on your own. Uh, the clock's running, so you should start. Make sure you're spread out. Make sure you're not keeping anybody next to you. Go ahead, begin. Let's go. Okay, everybody grab a jump rope. At this point, you should have a jump rope or grab one while I'm demonstrating. If you know how to jump rope, 
You can do a regular jump rope. You can do a double under, which is a little bit harder. Or you can cross over. Or you can go backwards. Or you can do a backwards crossover. But you and your partner, this is going to be a partner workout, will be jumping rope for five minutes. While you're working, your partner is resting. While your partner is resting, you're working. Okay, so um, let's get ready to start our jump rope. When the, start, when the clock starts, you start.
Okay, next what we're going to do is Tabata type abs. The clock will be set for 4 minutes and 20 seconds. 20 seconds you work, 10 seconds you rest. This is the exercise. Touch your toes. The ups. If you want to modify it when you get tired, just go to right here. Or if you get tired, just come to here. But before you get tired, try to do the full V up. 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. The clock's gonna be running, so you watch the clock. When 20 seconds ticks down, you work. Then you rest for the next 10 seconds until the time expires. When the clock starts, get ready. Take to like it. 